Bang! 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 Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and I got an unboxing over here from good old Lefty EDC. I'm going to link his channel down in, into the description. I already started opening it. Uh, yeah, he packs his stuff really good. I'm very, <laughs> I like to see that because I like to pack my stuff really good. And we got quite a big unboxing here. Let's get into it. So we got a Finch. I've never tried a Finch, not one time. So this is going to be interesting. We got quite a few here too. So some of them might, it might be my own knives. I'm not positive because I did send him some stuff. It might not be either. I don't know. All right. I don't know the name of this guy. I'll write it up on the screen. Um, it's a Finch. <laughs> I know that. I've seen lots of unboxings and videos on these, but I've never, never tried one. Very cool, traditional looking knife. Oh, wow. Is this my card? It doesn't, it's very smooth. It's not like textured my carta. It does not feel like this. It feels uh, slick. Very nice in the hand though. Looks like we have a titanium milled pocket clip. I'm not sure, is this titanium or steel? It is steel. All right, let's first fill up. Ooh, ooh, whoa. Wow. That is surprisingly really good. The flipper tab is, it works great. The access to the lock bar is amazing. And it is incredibly smooth, frictionless. Like when I went to close it, there's like, there's no resistance at all. It almost feels like it's riding on air. It is very, <laughs> very smooth. Yeah, I can see a lot of people liking this. Um, very traditional looking. And yeah, that's cool, man. Very, very cool. All right, let me get to the next one. I like that. Since we have so many, let me, uh, I'll just set that to the side. I'll close it up in a second. Next, we have a Tucson. Oh, this is the one I bought from him, I bet. I'm not positive though. I did buy one from him. Oh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Awesome. Cool. So I forget the number. Uh, it's a 300, 318 or something like that. I don't know. I'll write it on the screen. So we have carbon fiber. They do make this one in micarta though as well. Um, I did not like the way the micarta looked on this model. So I would prefer the carbon fiber. Very nice uh, milling. In the titanium, you can see the micro milling. It's not as deep as, uh, like, say, the knife I unboxed with right here, the Tucson TS-129. It's not as deep of milling as that, but it's still really nice. First flip, really nice, really nice. Okay. I heard him say it's not like a drop shutty knife, but it's very smooth, though. Oh yeah, it's still smooth. Okay, okay. Thumb flick. Very solid. Let me get my finger off the lock bar. Oh, wait, it's a liner lock. What am I saying? The liner is very easy to get to. The detent is... I guess it's not really late because there's no flipper there, but it does kind of hit right there, right before my finger. But it's not bad though. It's just a small knife. Yeah, that's easy to, to get used to. Slow roll. All right, titanium milled clip. This looks like a horrifying clip, but we'll see how it works. I don't know. I hate clips that have a pinpoint spot because getting over the lining of your pocket, think about it. Would you rather a wide surface go over the lining of your pocket or a little needle point? Think about it. So we'll see how it goes though. Um, it does have a regular stop pin. A lot of two sons use internal stop pins, but it's a good size stop pin. No complaints. 
shouldered lockup. Um, I think this is 14C28N. Nice little choil. Oh, that is so comfortable. That is very comfortable. It is thick, which I like because it's going to be comfortable. You know, it's not like overly thick to the point to where you think it's ridiculous or anything. But it's it's nice in the hand. I don't even feel the clip really. That That's, that's very, even back here, you know, because it's not a big knife. This thing's pretty nice. I like it. I like it quite a bit. That's pretty cool. Let's check out the geometry. It is a thicker geometry, so it's not... Tucson does a lot of very thin geometry knives, but they also have their thick boy knives, especially some of their earlier models. Um, this one is, you know, in the thicker side, but it's not, re not the edge so much, more of the blade stock and the taper. You can see how it tapers down. So, like, if I take... I'm spending way too long on this knife. If we look at that, how the taper is on this. But regardless, and some of them get even far, far thinner than that. Um, but very, very cool. I'm very happy about this purchase. Um, so yeah, very, very awesome. All right, let's get to the next one. Spending way too long. Okay, another Finch. Okay. He gave me a Band-Aid. I'm guessing he thinks I'm going to cut myself on this one. All right. Okay, let me set this one over here. I want to keep it nice and separate. Okay, this one's... Ooh, that looks like snake wood. I don't, I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure that is snake wood. At least that's what that looks like. If you look up snake wood, that's what it looks like. It's actually very expensive wood. It's very hard wood. What is right? Maybe it's just me. All right, first flip. Ooh, I didn't even mean to flip it. I said first flip, but I meant to put my finger there. Okay. Nice little, whoa, nice little warny. I like the blade shape for this little tiny knife like this. They, they Little knives like this are really good little utility blades. Uh, because they're small, compact, and what are you doing normally with a little knife? You know, opening things up. And you can still hook little tiny straps and things like that, get into the sides of boxes. You know, it just makes sense for a small knife. Nice, strong-looking lockup. Very solid. It has really thick scales for the thickness of the blade, which don't mind at all. Man, the thing is stupid smooth. I see why Lefty likes these because these things are very, very smooth. Let's look at that clip. Looks like another titanium milled clip. This looks like a better clip than the uh, than um that Tucson. If you guys see what I'm saying, like with the um the wider surface point rather than a pinpoint, you know, just one little point. Or even like this other two sun where it's like that. That's really nice. This clip works great because it's wide. This is kind of like that, or at least it looks like that. So very cool. Don't know the blades. 154 CM. Awesome. Nice little detent sound when it clicks in. It does. This one has a lighter detent than the other one, but very easy. Very, very nice. I like it. I like it a lot. <clears throat> Another Finch. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ooh, this one's different than the other ones. Okay, okay. He didn't think I was going to cut myself with this one at least. Maybe this is the one I'm actually going to cut myself. Maybe he's trying to trick me. Okay, so this one's G10. Uh, titanium pocket clip. Green liners. Very cool. First foot. Uh, we got uh, straight back. Maybe kind of a drop point. Yeah, drop point blade. Nice little choil on there. Nice little spot to, to put your fingers. Ooh, and we got some 14C. So this is the Shimmeron, I'm guessing, or Chimeron. Liner, easy to get to. Ooh, ooh these things are so smooth. They got the, the action definitely figured out on these. We got a little detent, though. We can get past it, though. 
So the detent is a tiny bit late, but it's also easy to get past. Good action, good ergos. This thing's nice and comfortable in the hand. Thick grind, for sure. For sure, of like kind of like a, a 940 or something, you know, or a 0450, zero tolerance 0450 kind of grind. Nothing wrong with that sometimes, but very cool, man. I like it. All right. Let's, uh, and I like how it sits inside the scales really nice and listen to this detent when it, when it clicks in, I like that loud click, it lets you know that it is closed. All right. Next one. Oh yeah. I forgot to say, I like these shields too. They all have had a shield. That's cool. That's very cool. Nice little touch. Wow. <laughs> They're all finches. Okay. We got two more finches. Let's check them out. <laughs> Never tried a finch. Now I've tried them all. Okay, so we got a Band-Aid one. We got another one. Or they send them out with Band-Aids and he happened to get cut and used all the other ones. <laughs> so this one must be a pretty safe one since the Band-Aid is still in there. <laughs> oh, that's cool looking. Okay, let me move this out of the way. I know I got a mess going on. I don't want to have you guys sit here and watch me clean. G Rock Texture G10 Titanium Clip. Looks like it's going to work very, very well. I like the double screw, so you're not going to get any play. Small flipper tabs. Ooh, okay. Looks like we got... I was going to call it a Scandi grind, but we have a straight back with... A, look, a scandy looking grind, but it's not a scandy grind because it does have an edge on there. It's a small bit of recurve. It goes from smaller and gets bigger up here at the belly. That's going to be really good for people that like the belly on a knife. I like a small belly normally, but, you know, I like big bellies sometimes. You know, I got a lot of knives with some big bellies and just depends, you know. Uh, sometimes it is really good you know, to, to use this, this edge for roll cuts or there's all different types of reasons. And some people actually like to use this part of the edge to open things up. I usually like to use the tip, but I can see why people like to use this part of the edge sometimes. And I do as well. You know, I'm not speaking in nice lockup. I'm not speaking in, uh, you know, 100% or anything. This one's not as smooth as the other ones, but still very smooth. And I might just need to flip it a couple times. Sometimes when you open up a knife, you got to flip it a few times to, to get the juices rolling. Still very smooth, just not fall shut action like the other ones. Nice tuned detent. Man, Finch has really got their detents figured out. All right, let me get to this next one. Okay. 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 I remember seeing videos on this one. It's a little smaller than I thought. There was, the shield wasn't on this one, was it? Oh, yeah, it was. It was on the bottom. Okay. So this one's on the bottom as well. They like their titanium milled clips. Let's hope they do them well. Very, very smooth. Nice detent. Late detent. Uh, feels like it has a ramp though. Uh, maybe not. Maybe it's just easy to push past. Yeah, it does have a late detent on this one, but I see it just going like this and just slapping it forward or just closing it. But it is very smooth when you get past that detent. Very smooth. Let's see if we. Oh, we can reverse flick it. We can reverse flick it. That's probably the way I'll probably open it now. Just bang. Yeah, you know, and I'll probably just go like this because I get past the detent faster that way. Lefty, very easy still. Yeah, that's cool. Um, The blade shape is... People call this a reverse tanto. I don't like calling it a reverse tanto because it's not sharp here. 
and a Tonto is sharp on both edges. Um, I This would be like a sheep's foot or a cleaver blade, something like that. It is a flat grind. Very, very cold steel is this 154CM, and this is the Rutley. The Rutley. That's something I got to make sure I remember to do is to edit all the names on the screen. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Very cool unboxing. Lefty, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Looks like I get to check out their whole catalog in one shot. Peace.